Toremaka, 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 Banda, 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 Banda. Jesus, I throw a saludo. Jesus, I throw a saludo. Jesus, I throw a saludo. Wash up. Aha. You know what I'm asking? Say, my own papa, I'm so jada. This morning, you make me wonder, Papa. Come on, let me feel you here. You make me wonder, Daddy. Somebody say, Baba. 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 Somebody say, Igwe. Somebody say, Boi. Boi say, Boi. Somebody say boy, somebody say igwe, somebody say boy. Hey, my Lord is good, oh. Jesus, now you the rain, no. 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 Aye, give God some praise. Do 
Jama muna roko wannan canopy by the right please mun zo mun shiga inda ya kamata a sa wa'ansu dignitaries mu yi hakuri idan osha sun maku magana a yi hakuri a dan masa please we are about to commence the service leaders are ready for the commencement of the service. The service leaders are already standing by Pastor Yiljab Abraham and Reverend Dr. Madhu. So in a moment, the service will commence. We have seen His Excellency, Mr. Boni Haruna, former governor of Adama State. You're most welcome, sir. You're most welcome to this interdenominational Thanksgiving service. We have also seen His Majesty, the Bongom Jos Dajek of Gyang Buba, CFR, and his lovely wife. You're most welcome, Your Majesty. We have also seen a former military governor of Plateau State, General Lawrence Onoja. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please, government functionaries, you will do well by giving up your seats. We have distinguished guests that have come from all over Nigeria. This is our event, so kindly give them space as we are very, very accommodating. Thank you very much. Especially those of you sitting in this podium, kindly relinquish your seats for our guests that have come all over to fraternize with us. You can come to this makeshift VIP stand where we have banquet seats. Thank you very much. It's good to welcome your guests. Do not occupy the seats while they are standing. Thank you very much. God bless you. A quick recognition of His Excellency Justin Tanda Rabiu, former Deputy Governor of Gombe State. You're most welcome, sir. Honorable Jerry Joseph Damara, Distinguished Senator Tony Yora, AIG Danladi B. Lalas, Pastor Meso Dixon, Prince Paul Foy, and Prince, Prince Peter Foy. We welcome all of you. 
our brothers and sisters in Christ, we are about to commence this Thanksgiving. As such, all of us are welcome. Once again, we are begging that we still have some traditional rulers standing. Please cooperate with the ushers and just give them some of these seats. We know that people are happy. This is a sign of showing that we appreciate what God has done. And that is why we can see this kind of crowd here today. This is besides those that are watching live on the Plateau Radio Television Corporations, television and radio. Those that are watching on the Africa Independent Television all over the world also. And those that are watching on channels, television all over the world. There are those that are listening to us on JFM as well as other media outfits or outlets that are beaming this Thanksgiving service live to the whole world. We have other press men here who are also doing their best to ensure that from whichever part of the world that you are, you are together with Plateau State in this Thanksgiving. Today, we have broken the barriers of politics, the barriers of religion, the barriers of ethnicity. That's why we have come together to fellowship and thank God for that blessing which he has done to Plateau State. We are celebrating and thanking God for the victory of His Excellency Barista Caleb Manasse Mutfuang as Governor of Plateau State and in gold Joseph Impio as a Deputy Governor of Plateau State. So let's prepare ourselves because in a moment the celebrants will step out and join us as we commence. Our music ministers today have been doing a great job. Permit me to also appreciate members of different ethnic nationalities that are here today. We've had your names so many. May God bless you wherever you are. May God meet each and every one of us at our various points of need. May we not go back the same way we came in, but may we go back with the blessings of the Almighty God. We can see that today the various denominations have come together to actually thank God for this. In just a moment, His Excellency will come out and then the crowd as usual we will commence the Thanksgiving service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Plateau State, He's out of the car, the celebrant, Barista Caleb Manasse Mutfuang, and his lovely wife, Barista Ellen. Announcing the arrival. Executive Governor of Plato State, His Excellency, Barista Caleb Manasse Mulfoy. He is busy exchanging pleasantries with dignities and a VIP stand. And from here, we can also see the arrival of the father of Plato State, the former governor of Plato State, the senior senator, 
Doctor Jonah, David John, and his wife have just arrived, and also exchanging pleasantries. Today, it's a remarkable day in the life of Mando. A day we shall be to remember. A day we shall praise the Lord. And show our gratitude for what we have done for the people of God. In a short while from now, the program will commence. May I also welcome the wife of the governor of Plato State, the first lady of Plato State. My excellence, it says about a lot about the desire for progress and development in Plato. We can only return thanks unto the Lord for what He has done for us as the people on the plateau. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Your Excellency, the Governor of Plato State, Barrister Caleb Muthwang, and my Excellency, the wife of the Governor of Plato State, the Speaker of the Plateau State House of Assembly, the Chief Judge of Plateau State, Your Excellencies that are present, members of the National Assembly, members of the Plateau State Security Council, members of the Plateau State Executive Council, our fathers, your Majesties and Royal Highnesses, distinguished invitees, the Secretary to the Plateau State Government, the Chief of Staff, and all top government functionaries, captains of industry, and our very beloved fathers in the faith, our fathers of the church and all of our brothers and sisters that have been invited to this auspicious occasion. We welcome you, brothers and sisters, as we start this service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I request in the name of Christ that we all rise as we give honor to our nation, Nigeria, as we take the national anthem. While we're doing this, I request that all movements be seized. Wherever you are, please stand where you are, even if you have not finished what you're doing. All movements must stop as we honor our nation.
the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel say, if the Lord had not been on our side, when people attacked us, they would have swallowed us alive when their anger flared against us. The flood would have engulfed us. The torrent would have swept over us. The raging waters would have swept us away. Praise be to the Lord who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the fowler's snare. The snare has been broken. And we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. As God's people say, as God's people say, as God's people say, Hallelujah! Hallelujah!
we stand together to make this declaration this morning. And so we present the proceedings of this worship unto you. And we ask, O oh God, may it please you to grant us your presence. That in every aspect, O oh God, of this worship, may your presence be felt amongst us. O oh Lord, that you will grant us to pray to your, your blessings. That in every aspect of this worship, O oh God, your blessings shall be felt. And so we dedicate the beginning of this worship to the proceedings to the end. That God himself may show himself up in our midst. That you will come through for blood to state. That in every activity of this worship, O oh Lord, your name and your name alone shall be glorified. The honor shall be yours. The blessing shall be unto Plateau State. Your name shall be glorified. And so we declare this, O oh God, worship open in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's be seated. And may the people of the Lord shout a louder amen. amen. I believe that we need to give a battle cry to the Lord as we praise his name this afternoon. Before then, let me remind us again that this is a church service. And we will request that worshipers worship him in truth and in spirit. Therefore, because it's a Christian service, we will request that all those who, all men who have their caps should kindly remove them because we are in the presence of the Most High, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So we are going to give a battle cry to the Lord as we praise his name. Are you ready? Are you ready? Pray! The Lord. Amen. At this time, I will invite the band as they lead us in a joyful worship to the Lord and to praise his name because this is why we are here to say thank you to our God who is the maker of heaven and earth and who makes all things beautiful at his own time. Band, please. We give you a We give you all. We give you all. You will not deserve it. For there is no like you, no like you. Yes, oh Lord. 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 Hanu asama ya Yesu ga mu akabanga. Hanu asama hanu musama plato. Hanu asama kareka me fansa. Hanu asama ya Yesu ga. 
That's why we are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Hallelujah. Please be seated. But some of you will still rise again and sing because we are going to continue singing. And this time we're taking to God be the glory. That beautiful hymn by Fanny Cosby. The lady that lived 95 years, this hymn is still relevant in our lives. And God's word says by Paul, that in all that you do, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, give glory to the Lord. And this very moment, we will sing this song. Uh, this hymn is on page 12 of the program booklet. Yeah. We still request, while you are at worship, you are not a security personnel, you are not a woman, uh, please do take off your cap. Do take off your cap. I see a lot of green caps. And it's time to have the sunshine touch your head a little bit. Okay. La, 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 la. Sí. 
In all that we do, we bring glory to the Lord. And this afternoon, at this interdenominational service, wherein we give thanks, we welcome all of those who are present and those who are listening and those who are watching through various channels of the mass media. We welcome you to the staring of a spiritually rejuvenated Plateau State. We welcome you to the reigniting of the spiritual canopy over Plateau State. We welcome you to the bridging of the unity thread of the about 40 nations of Plateau State and of the about 370 nations of Nigeria in one nation. We welcome you to the celebration of victory of Plateau State over viciousness, impunity, and the dark clouds that have ceaselessly rained blood, malice, hatred, and disunity. We welcome you to the breaking of the back wall. always worship. That no matter what happens, Plato will give thanks. We welcome you to the celebration of the outstanding modern Goliath of modern Plato, the single warrior who openly declared to the hearing of everyone that there is no devil, that the devil that will take away our victory has not yet been born. We welcome you to this victory song. We welcome you to the state of our brother, our uncle, our neighbor, our father, our leader, the governor of Plateau State, His Excellency, Barista Caleb Manasseh Mutfang, in thanksgiving to the Lord. We welcome you all lovers, admirers, friends, patriots, sons, daughters, and fathers of Plateau. Welcome to the fountain of unity. And we say welcome to the confluence of brotherhood. Welcome to the state that has been blessed like no other state. And welcome to this Thanksgiving in the state that is truly the state of peace and tourism. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We take this brief moment to appreciate and acknowledge 
your presence with us. His Excellency is with us. Our brother, the governor of Plateau State, the leader of Plateau State, and the one who leads Plateau State also from his own spirit, which is refreshed by the Spirit of God. His Excellency, Barrister Manasseh, Minister Caleb Manasseh Mutfan and his dear wife, Barista Mrs. Heli Mutfan. Hallelujah. We acknowledge your presence, sir. We acknowledge your fervor. We also recognize distinguished members of the National Assembly who are present. Forget about the former and the present. The National Assembly, those that are here, we acknowledge you in the name of Jesus. We acknowledge the presence of the Speaker of the Plateau State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Gabriel J. One, and those lovers of Plateau State in the House of, Pla in the House of Assembly who are walking with him, we acknowledge your presence in the name of Jesus. We welcome the Chief Judge of Plateau State, the Honorable Justice David Mann. We welcome the former Governor of Plateau State, distinguished Senator Da Jonah David Jang, Commander of the Order of the Niger, and his wife. Ongo Talatu Jang, the man who turned Plateau into the biggest construction site that has ever existed in Nigeria. We acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge the presence of the former military governor of Plateau State. He was in uniform. He was amiable, always smiling, but very serious-minded man a lover of Plateau State, retired General Lawrence Onoja, whom we haven't seen for years, and today he is at this Thanksgiving. You're welcome, sir. We also welcome the former governor of Adamawa State, His Excellency Boni Haruna, who has proven to be a true friend, a true patriot of Plateau State. Wherever I have seen our governor at that time, whether he was governor-elect or afterwards governor, wherever you would see him, you would see our father and brother, His Excellency Boni Haruna. He has proven to be a good friend and a good patriot of Plateau State. We welcome the former Chief of Defense Staff, General Martin Luther Aguay retired. This man has fought many battles and he's here to celebrate with us as he also remembers the battles that the Lord has pulled him through. We appreciate and recognize our mother, our inspiration, our link with the past, our hope even in the present the wife of the very first civilian governor of Plateau State and the first national chairman of the PDP. Mama, we welcome you. Professor Mrs. Mary Solomon Daushep Lar. We also recognize and appreciate the presence of one of us, he is the true son of Plateau State, even when he comes and goes. The former Minister of Information, Dara Mamsa, Baba Mamsa, Professor Jerry Ghana, we welcome you, sir. We welcome you, sir.
We also welcome the President, Customary Court of Appeal, Honorable Justice Blessing Leop Daliop. We welcome you, ma'am. We welcome you. We acknowledge the presence of the PDP Vice Chairman, North Central Zone, Honorable Theophilus Dakas Shan. We acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge the, the presence of principal officers and members of the Plata State House of Assembly. We acknowledge, sirs, the presence of the PDP Chairman of Plata State, Honorable Chris Hassan, and other chairmen of other political parties that are present with us at this Thanksgiving. We welcome you. We welcome the chief organizer of this event, the chairman of the planning committee, who is the secretary to the government of Plata State, my brother, architect Samuel Nanchang Jatawan is DIY. We acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge the presence of the chief of staff, government house, engineer Jeremiah Satmak. We welcome you, sir. We acknowledge the presence of the head of the civil service of Plata State, barrister Mrs. Rauta Dakok. We acknowledge the presence of members of the Plata State Executive Council, members of the Plata State Security Council, special advisors, chairman of commissions and their members, directors general, permanent secretaries, chief executives of government boards and parastatals, local government council transition committee chairman, the chairman of the Plata State Council of Chiefs and Emirs, His Majesty the Bongwam Joss, Da Jacob Dang Buba, commander of the Federal Republic, and other traditional rulers who are present. We recognize and appreciate our revered heads of denominations in Plata State and beyond, especially as we acknowledge the presence of our guest preacher, His Eminence, Bishop Francis Waleoke, President Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. We welcome you, sir. We welcome the chairman of denominational heads in Plata State, Reverend Dr. Stephen Panya Baba, like father, like son, like holiness, like righteousness, the president of Equa. I just passed, as I recognized our father, our mother, um, your, majest your, your majesty. Forgive me for this, that I passed you over to our father, the wife of his majesty. The Bongwam Joss. Ngo, I acknowledge your presence. Thank you very much. We also acknowledge the presence of the chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Plata State, Reverend Father Polycab Lubo. We acknowledge you. And all other ministers that are here representing the denominations, both serving and former presidents and heads of churches. We recognize and appreciate the presence of all of you distinguished invited guests that have come from different parts of the nation of Nigeria and the federal capital. We recognize and appreciate our esteemed elders, our sons, our daughters, our patriots, our lovers of Plata State, and my fellow colleagues and compatriots, members of the media, who I deeply recognize and appreciate you. And I recognize too, all of you, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, you are welcome to the state of the man who is structurally 
structurally redeemed. We continue in this service as I call on Reverend Dr. Madhu to take the next item, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, our veteran broadcaster, journalist, teacher, pastor, all rolled in one, our brother, Pastor Abraham Hiljab. We are going to move with the speed of the light at this moment. And because the protocol has been well laid, I will request that when you come up here for any assignment, you do not uh, go over long protocols again. You have been forgiven uh, even before you commit the offense. I like to recognize the presence of our father in the Lord, the coaching president, Reverend Dr. Amos Mozo, who is here with his wife. You are welcome. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We will continue to recognize our guests as we are aware of their presence here. But then we will now go straight into, we will now go straight into the next program, item number five on our program for the day. We will be inviting our Father in the Lord, the head of the denominations in, on the plateau, Reverend Dr. Stephen Panyam Baba, who will come forward now and give us a welcome address. He is the vice chairman of the Christian Association of, vice president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, and also the president of the Evangelical Church Winning All. You are most welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you turn to the person next to you and greet him in your native dialect? Bless him in your native dialect and give glory to God in your native dialect. Hallelujah. How many of us know the language that we shall be speaking in heaven? Just in case you don't know that language, I want to teach you the language you will be speaking in heaven. In case you arrive heaven in the morning like this, I want you to be prepared so that you will feel at home. Because at heaven's gate, you are going to hear them welcome you like this. Ajife, hola sunu, shekwa atife na barkao. That is the language we'll be speaking in heaven. Praise the Lord. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Plateau State, Barista Manasse Caleb Mutpam and his esteemed cabinet, all the distinguished fathers in the Lord, church leaders that are here, other distinguished guests, please permit me to stand on the existing protocol and to welcome all of you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Psalm 100 verse 3 says, Praise the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, all my soul, and forget not his benefit. If there is anything that God has done 
for Plato that will remain remarkable and a washer shade in the history of Plato, it is what we have come in order to celebrate this moment. The affirmation of the mandate that was generously, happily, greatly, joyously given to our governor in order to lead his people to the glory land. We thank God for that. The Bible says in Psalm 50, 23, he who sacrifices thanksgiving honors me and he prepares the way that I may show him my salvation, the salvation of God. Furthermore, 1 Samuel 2.30 says, Those who honor me, I will honor. It is our prayers that as we continue this thanksgiving, that God will accept our sacrifice of thanksgiving today as an honor unto him and to, in his grace and mercy, continue to glorify his mighty name in the life of our beloved governor and his cabinet and in the entire plateau as a whole. Brethren, we are going to hear more words of exhortation from our Father in the Lord, the Bishop Francis Wale Oke, whom God has prepared to bring us the message today. But on this note, we just want to say you are really welcome once more again and to God and to God alone be all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration in Jesus' name. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Please, let's give a round of applause to encourage. Thank you very much. At this point, we are going to go into songs ministration. We are going to go into songs ministration. And the first, the first group to minister in song today will be the Equa Women's Fellowship, just DCC. We have Malam uh, Rasil. Please, is Malam Rasil here? It's here, okay, thank you. So we are going to now listen to the Women's Fellowship as they give their special number.
Thank you very much, Women's Fellowship. We now invite Madam Rapsteel and his group to come forward. Are they here? Rapsteel here? Well, I'm told that uh, Rapsteel is not here yet. So we are going to uh, go to item number seven, and I will call on Pastor Abraham Hiljab. Abraham Hiljab to come and continue from here, item number seven. We give glory and honor to the Lord as we also appreciate the presence of our Father, uh, His Excellency, the former Deputy Governor of Gombe State. He is here with a very powerful delegation. Uh, His Excellency, the Magajin Garimwaja Paanda Rupaino. We appreciate your presence, sir. We do very much. I know that earlier on we had recognized and appreciated the presence of members of the National Assembly. Uh, whether present or former, but I need to take out two because of what's ahead. I deeply would appreciate and recognize the presence of distinguished Senator Dr. Simon Mwatkwan White, who is going back for another election by the 3rd of this month, of, of the 3rd of February, I beg your pardon, the 3rd of February. And also, Honorable Musa Abia Aga is also going back for another election. So we deeply appreciate this. Uh, seeing all the whites and the greens here give us a lot of hope uh, that something will be done that would wipe away what had previously been made to make us green. I would at this moment in our program welcome and invite the person that has stood firm for Plata State, our brother, the lover of Plata State, the governor of Plata State, the structured governor of Plata State, the mega structured governor of Plata State, the super structured governor of Plata State. His Excellency, Honorable Barista Caleb Manasseh. Mutwang, the governor of Plato State, is here. Hail my Jesus, e pupe, e pupe, e pupe dike. Hail Master Jesus, e pupe, e pupe, e pupe dike. This is his appearance, second appearance on this podium, May 29th. Sworn in as the, the governor of Plato State, Your Excellency, sir. He has done it for me. Oh, Tobetuku. Yo, Tobetuku. Tobetobeya. Tobetuku. He has done it for me. He did it before. Tobetuku. Tobetobeya. Almighty God, the mighty man of war, I 
have said, my ears have my mouth will talk about the goodness of God. My eyes have seen, my ears have heard, my mouth will talk about the goodness of God. My Of the Lord, my eyes are seen. Listen, my eyes are seen, my ears have heard, my mouth will talk about the goodness of the Lord. My eyes have seen, my ears have heard, my mouth will talk about the goodness of my Father, we thank you. The God of heaven and earth, we bless you. The I am that I am, we worship you. The rock of ages, we bless your name. You are the Lord. That is your name. Your glory you will never share with any man. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. When you turned the captivity of Zion, it was to us like a dream. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. If it had not been the Lord, where would we have been? Thank you for putting laughter on our mouths. Thank you for rolling away this reproach that was coming upon us. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we exalt your name. Thank you, Father. You have shown again that you are the ruler of the universe. We bow before you. We bow before you. We exalt your name. Thank you for the men and women you raised to come to our defense. Thank you for the men and women you restrained from hurting us. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you, Father. Thank you because you remembered us. Who are we, O oh Lord? Who are we? We are nothing but mere men. Lord, I am nothing before you. I am just but a man. Lord, feeble and frail. But Lord, it please you to show me mercy. It please you, Lord, to give me your grace. It please you to honor me and to exalt you. Lord, I bow in your majesty. I bow to your majesty. And I say, be thou exalted. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, for bringing a time of refreshing upon Plato State. Thank you for the time of refreshing. Thank you for the day of your visitation. Thank you for the time, the set time to remember Plato has come. Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory. Oh, you will never share your glory with anybody. Hallelujah. Almighty God, that, that is your name. Say 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. My Jesus conquered Satan. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Give God some dance. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you because the future of Plato is glorious. Thank you for the future of Plato is wonderful. Thank you for the future of Plato is excellent. Your name will be praised on the plateau. Thank you, Father. We worship you. Be thou exalted, O Lord, forever and forever. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. 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 We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us. Oh, we are victorious. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Yeah. Glory be to God. Oh, Lord, you have blessed us above and not been in Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can we lift it one more time? We are victorious. Yeah. Oh, glory be to Yahweh. Given us victory. Thank you, but your excellency. I'll invite the Reverend Dr. Thompson to offer a word of prayer uh, before we go to the next item. Thank you. Hallelujah. I am called up here to lead prayers on the peace of Plateau State. Peace. And also to pray concerning the socio-economic situation of the plateau. This is a very important prayer topic. Peace. Can everybody say peace? peace. When there is peace, our children can go to school. Schools wouldn't be locked up. When there is peace, we can come to church freely. When there is peace, our Muslim brothers and sisters can go to the mosque without fear. When there is peace, the market is not locked up. You can go buy and come back. 
So, I will want everybody, if you don't mind, to stand in your language or English or in the spirit. Anywhere you want to pray, please spend a few seconds and call on God concerning the peace of Plateau. Let's do that now. Lift your voices and call on God to rain peace upon the plateau. May the Lord hear your prayers in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, here your people are assembled today. And we are praying concerning the social life, the economic life of the plateau. Father, they all hinge upon peace. And that is why we see peace as paramount. Our God, anything that will disrupt the peace you have given to us on the plateau. Dear Lord God, stand against it in Jesus' name. Is it coming from the political class? Is it coming from the religious circle? Is it coming for greedy people who abduct, who kidnap? Is it coming, for blood, coming from bloodthirsty people? Father, no matter the angle it is coming from, we are against such forces today in Jesus' name. Father, grant us peace. This state has remained backwards. Father, you have raised our hope that economic activities will resume in full force again. And that Plateau State will be known for peace and tourism again in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, any force that will work against these things, we come against them. We stand against them. We destroy them totally. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, all the people who have the peace and concerns of this state at heart. Don't allow anybody to be intimidated. That every hand will be on deck. And that before long, our songs shall rise to you. Thank you for answering our prayer. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Thank you very much. Out. They are already positioned here. So uh, the Coking Headquarters Church Choir is already positioned here to give us the administration. Thank you very much, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Ko a kwe a bin na ya fi karfin alam domi shine oh shine madawami ba a bin na ya fi karfin sa omi shine. Shine, oh shine, domi, shine, oh shine, go away. 
ya tabata ga Allah my rai ya boom ya tabata ga Allah my rai chicken sama chicken sama ya boom ya tabata ga Allah my rai ya boom ya tabata ga Allah my rai chicken sama Najiki Samha Yabu Ya Tabata Gala My Rai Yabu Ya Tabata Gala My Rai Jiki Sama Najiki Sama Yabu Yabu Gala My Yabu My Rai Jiki Sama Chicken Sama, Yabo, Yadabata, Gala, my right, Yabo, Yadabata, Gala, my right, Chicken Sama. Chicken Sama Musa Beshi Donika Saga Remi Muyabo Yabo Chicken Sama Na Chicken Sama Bo Maza Jekuzo Muyabi Allah Domina Sara Nashi Yababi Hale 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 Chicken Sama Abo Masaje Buyabo Mataye Buyabo Chicken Sama Na Chicken Sama Buyo Yabo Batag Buyabo 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 Buyabeshi 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 Na Chicken Sama Ya bo, ya tabata, mu ya bo la mi ra, la mi ra chiki sama, na chiki sama, mu bo ya tabata ga Allah mi ra, ya bo ya tabata ga Allah mi ra chiki sama. Ya bo ya tabata ga al. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you very much. Uh, the Corking Headquarters Church Choir is a massive one, very energetic, awesomely resourceful, and wherever they have been invited, they have won uh, competitions among choristers. They're among the best that you can find. Thank you very much. Always very powerful. As they step out, Kuihankali, because one of your songs always is that there is a big river and no bridge go. So, Kuihankali, I hope I get that. Praise God. Your Excellency, 
the Governor of Plata State, and your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I'll invite for ministration one of the young people uh, that has been here. In 20, 2015, he, he did something that changed the musical presentations as we have them at political rallies. And by 2022, 23, he came out with one that is a big hit and that has been remained incomparable in all that we have been releasing as jingles, uh, political jingles. So I'm pleased to invite uh, our brother, this lawyer, Ezra Jinang of the Gida Gida fame. Okay. Brother Isra. Praise the Lord. Ta, 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 Plato zai zama kamar mulkin sama Plato Plato zai zama kamar mulkin sama Plato Plato zai zama kamar mulkin sama Muna beke muna beke zai zama kamar mulkin sama Muna beke muna beke zai zama kamar mulkin sama Muna beke muna beke zai zama kamar mulkin sama Oh Plato Plateau, oh plateau, eh plateau, oh plateau, eh plateau. Mon abeke zai zama kamar mukin sama, mon abeke zai zama kamar mukin sama, mon abeke mon abeke Let me hear you say, say. Plato, say the Maka Marble Gin Sama. Plato, Plato, say the Maka Marble Gin Sama. Plato, say the Maka Marble Gin Sama. Hanusama, Hanusama. Yabuya, boy, yabuya, Kimbana, Davina Bara Amo, Dole Negan Gambana, Davina Bara Amo, Dole Kuma Mirawa, Vieta Bara Kuma, Wasumaza Debanas and Sayamo Toti, Wasumata Ebanas and Haifiaya, Wasusama Ebanas, Kay Aure, Yarigam Babanaza Taja Aure, where you, Ruasama Patata, Obaya Nazuba. Gonna get more by Gawal, Sonata Bungasawa, Rumbana Moga Hazi, Obaya Nazaboa, Dole Mumika Hadaya, Yarja Jeniaga Yesu, Bana Mumika Binda, Ubanki Tibaya Soba, Ta, 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 I I'm 
to my God. I said when God gives victory to Plato, I will do three things. Number one, I will sew a new cloth. And I fulfilled it. The cloth on my body is brand new. Number two, I said before the congregation of the saints, I will dance an unusual dance. I say, God, I want to dance exactly the way David danced when the Ark of the Covenant was brought back to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And that is why you saw me dancing. Number three, I say, I will write and sing a new song. Hallelujah. We pray. We praise. We sing, oh, we worship you. These are the fruits of our leaves. Lift up your hands, Plato. Come on. These are the fruits of our leaves. Say, we pray, we pray, we praise, we praise. Jesus, these are the fruits From the bottom of our hearts We thank you, Jesus From the bottom of our hearts We worship you These are the fruits of our leaves Oh, thank you, Jesus These are the fruits of our lips say we pray we pray we pray Dem namo monoare, dem namo, dem namo monoare, dem namo, dem namo ne monoare, oh monoare, dem namo mo monoare, do dem namo, dem namo ne monoare, oh monoare, mutan, mutan. I want to hand over the mic to my father, but we are going to sit down while singing the Jesus' version of Gida Gida. Do you agree? 
Salvation gida gida hey. Salvation gida gida. Yesu Christi gida gida. Yesu Christi gida gida. Salvation gida gida hey. Salvation gida gida. Yesu Christi gida gida. Yesu Christi gida gida. Gida gida. Gida gida. Gida gida. Gida gida. Yesu Christi gida gida. And with us is a producer from the New York City, all the way from the United States. He came all the way to grace this occasion. He's a music promoter, and we were privileged to have him during our rehearsals within the week. Mr. Power, can you just say hello to Plato? Hello, Plato State. Thank you. Good Praise morning. the Lord. Praise the Lord, people of God. While we were sitting on this podium, I was afraid the way uh, Ezra was jumping up and down. But I remember that he is a featherweight, so he can do nothing to the podium. May I announce to us with joy that because the man jumped very well, and because he sang very well, he has earned for himself a donation of a car. From, from, from Jerry, Damina, and partners. Please, put, let's put our hands together. <laughs> well, uh, Thank you very much. We can only ask that the old one be donated to the program leader. <laughs> At this point, we like to go to the Lord in prayers. And please, and please let me, let me make a general announcement here to those who are going to be praying here. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth be silent before him. May I remi remind us once again that we are in the presence of the Lord, and this is a worship service. I'd like to make a general announcement for those who are going to be praying here that henceforth, kindly do faith prayer. My president, the Equa president, differentiates between intercessory prayer and faith prayer. So what we want is a faith prayer. In other words, you will pray and the people will say amen. It is not so much of leading us as we know in the Pentecostal church, but it is leading us as we know in the coaching church. So you will pray and the rest of us will say amen. It is on this note that I'd like to invite our dear mother in the Lord, the right Reverend Inkechi Ngosu, the Bishop of the Methodist Church on the Plateau. Please come forward as you give us a faith prayer. God bless you. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh.
Father and our God, Lord, we bless your holy name because Plateau State and the people of Plateau are not an accident. Lord, uh, according to Acts chapter 17, verse 26, the word says that before the foundation of the world, Lord, you have determined the time and the boundary and the habitation of the people called to be members and citizens of Plateau State. And so, Father, I stand here to decree and declare according to Psalm 125 verse 3 that the lot of the wicked shall not rest on the land apportioned to Plateau State and their citizens in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the land will, will be opened and swallow every wicked man every wicked woman, born by woman, that wants to take over this land that the Lord has given to us, I decree and declare that they shall be uprooted in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the ground shall open and swallow them alive. As the ground swallowed Korah and his wicked brothers and sisters who wanted to challenge the leadership and authority of Moses. I decree and declare, because they have decided to stay where they do not belong, that the food, the water, the produce of the land of Plato shall become poison unto them. I decree and declare that the wild animals will fight them and devour them in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the way the Syrian army that surrounded and besieged Israel ran when nobody was pursuing them. That is the way they will hear the sound of the chariots of heaven, the army of God, and they will run back to hell where they come from in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, as the word of God says in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5, that the, the Lord will wall Plateau State with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare that the spirit of peace that passes all understanding shall possess every citizen of this great, uh, this great state in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the love of God, the brotherly love of God, will be shed abroad again in the heart of every citizen of Plateau State, that we will love ourselves without hypocrisy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the unity of purpose in our diversity in order for us to harness the, the, the blessings the almighty God has blessed the Plateau State with in the name of Jesus. I pray against the spirit of drug addiction and alcoholism against our youths and our young men and some women in the name of Jesus. I decree now with Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7 that the Lord will give us double the shame and all the things we had seen and gone through in this state. But the Lord will give us double portion in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand on the authority of the almighty God. I decree and declare an all-round prosperity upon the state and her citizens. In the name of Jesus, I pray ancient of days for men and women of commitment, dedication, selflessness in every area of business, work, and life endeavor that they will walk in line with the government so that the blessings of God upon the plateau state will be shared by all, not by few. I pray, ancient of days, that your righteousness shall possess your church and that your church will be as bold as lion so that she will be able to stand and say the truth to those in power and not compromise the word of God. I also pray for the traditional rulers and all our leaders at all levels, 
that God that you help them not to allow God become sell their conviction on the table of the king and thereby not be able to tell the leaders or the power what they need to do. Father, I want to thank you for your faithfulness. I bless you, ancient of days, for a new plateau state. I thank you for a peaceful, godly, prosperous plateau state and her people. A glorious people, a state on the hill that cannot be hidden. The center of tourism and the pride of Nigeria. Blessed be you, ancient of days. I worship you and will return all glory and honor to you. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much. Let me let you know that even while the prayers are being offered, the prayers are already been answered. In Jesus' name, we have brought Barista Ezra Jinan back not to present another number, but Agina Akan Gida Gida. I have the authority of His Excellency, the Governor of Plata State, Barista Caleb Manasa Mutfang, to announce that he has approved the appointment. of Barista Ezra Jinan alias Gida Gida, Senior Special Assistant on Creativity and Entertainment. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Get up, let me knock you again. Get up, let me knock you again. Jema, I also have the authority of the Speaker of the Plateau State House of Assembly, Ride Honorable Gabriel Kudangbena day one to announce to you Ezra Jinan Gida Gida a donation of half a million naira. So he's a, he's a guy whose season has come. His season is here and I said Plateau is spraying and it's already raining. Congratulations. Uh, so, say Kashiria, Tunda Canada, 500,000 Naira Yanzum. Say Kanimi permission now, His Excellency, because you are now his appointee. But I can eat up here by permission bar. Don't Kaje Abuja, Kakarbimota, Kadaumanadishi. Hallelujah. Yes, from Jerry Jamana. Tamara, Tamara, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let me quickly, let me just quickly acknowledge, very, very quickly, as we take the next uh, prayer, to appreciate the presence of the Director General of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, uh, Professor Omotayo and his wife. We thank you also from NIBS, uh, Professor Fumi Paramalam, the Director of Studies. And then we also have our father and brother, the former Permanent Secretary, Federal Permanent Secretary, Beatrice BD Nabasu. Uh, we welcome you. We also especially welcome our mother and sister uh, from Nasarawa State, the wife of the PDP uh, governorship candidate in Nasarawa State, Mrs. Miranda Ambugadu. We welcome you. We welcome. We like release your clap offerings to the Lord. Release it. I, I know you want to clap for Nasarawa State for Ambugadu. I know you want to. So go on ahead. Yes. We also want to appreciate the presence of Mrs. Lois Gyunka 
wife of distinguished Senator Philip Arua Junka. And we would not forget the presence of our brother and father, the head of the Mutfang legal team, Emeka Etiaba, senior advocate of Nigeria. Hallelujah. A round of applause, please. Let's appreciate him deeply. He's here with us. Thank you. Hallelujah. We are going to go into the next item. And we are going to be praying now for the Executive Council of Plateau State and all government appointees of His Excellency. And to do this, we have the PFN State uh, Chairman, Reverend Dunka Gomwok, to come and take our hearts to the Lord in prayer. Let us go before the Lord in prayer once again. Our dear Father in heaven, we thank you for the privilege and honor of coming before your throne of grace again this afternoon. You said in your word in Hebrews 4, 16, that we should come boldly to the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Lord, at this time we lift up before you the state executive council of Plateau State under the able leadership of your dear son, our dear governor, honorable I mean, um, His Excellency, Barrister Caleb Manasse Mutfang. And we also bring before you all government appointees and all his helpers in government. Lord, your word says in Psalm 68 verse 11, the Lord gave the word and great was the company of they that published it. We lift up these precious ones before you now, whom you have granted the grace and the privilege and honor to serve in these capacities. We ask that you grant them unity of heart. We ask that you grant them steadfastness of spirit. We ask that you grant them steadfastness of purpose. Your word says in Psalm 133, verses 1 to 3, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is as the oil that came upon Aaron's head, went to his beard and the skirts of his garments. There the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. We ask that you wield their hearts together as one. We come against any strategy of the devil to divide them or to plant seeds of discord amongst them in the precious name of Jesus. We ask that you grant them grace to be free from distractions, to resist distractions that will obviously come in the course of their pursuit of governance. And we ask that you grant them grace to stay the course and run with the vision that you have granted our dear governor, the chief executive of this state, Governor Caleb Manasseh Mutwang. We boldly declare that like David's mighty men, they shall surround him. And as one man, they shall fulfill, they shall run to fulfill your will, your plan, your purpose, and your divine agenda for Plato. We declare in the name of Jesus that no weapon that is formed against them shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against them in judgment stands condemned in the name of Jesus. We surround them with the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We hide them from any form of evil together with their families. Grant them protection and preservation in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We declare that their strength shall not fail them as they pursue this assignment of standing and, being, and helping and holding the hands of our dear governor. We declare their strength shall not fail them. They shall run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus, we speak strength to their spirits. We speak strength to their minds. We speak strength to their bodies. And we declare that they shall so surely succeed in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let all that agree with that prayer shout hallelujah. Let all that agree with that prayer shout amen. Thank you so much. We are moving forward. We are now going to Take our hearts to the Lord in prayer for Nigeria as we pray for Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, members of the National and State Assemblies. And to do this, we invite Right Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Morris to take our hearts to the Lord in prayer. Praise the Lord. People of God, praise the Lord. Yes, I just want to go direct into the prayers as I'm asked to do. But let me just make this statement known to us, even as we are here. We are here principally to thank God because a victory has been given, which means 
there is no battle to be fought. So this Thanksgiving marks the end of any battle. No battle between PDP and APC. No battle of ethnicity. No battle of being a Christian or a Muslim. But we are all one under a leadership God has given unto us. God will bind us together so that we can take care of Plato State and Nigeria together in Jesus' name. Let me remind His Excellency, the Governor, we are now praying and thanking God for him. He made a statement, and I took note of it sometimes. Politics is my Christian mission. What does that mean? So that is the prayer. We'll take care of that. Christian mission is about transformation. It doesn't matter who you transform. It doesn't matter whether it's a Muslim or a Christian or whoever. So I remind you, Your Excellency, take seriously into heart after this Thanksgiving that you will go with that transformation in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, Lord God Almighty, we have come under a solemn assembly to pray before your throne of grace and mercy. We pray for Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. His vice, Kashim Shetima, we pray for all those in national assemblies and state assemblies. We pray again, Lord God Almighty, for your leader in this state, Barrister Caleb Mutfang and his deputy, Honorable Justice Josephine Pio. We pray, Lord God Almighty, that let there be righteousness everywhere. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be justice. Let there be peace. Let there be unity. Let there be development. In the mighty name of Jesus. We stand as one man to pray at all levels up to this state that all this will take place. And Lord, you said in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, Believe the Lord and ye shall be established. Believe the prophet and ye shall prosper. We declare that there will be establishment and prosperity upon Nigeria and Plato State in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord God Almighty, for you say, we are the righteous. When the righteous is on the throne, people will rejoice. We will rejoice on the plateau. We will rejoice in Nigeria. Wickedness against us to kill, to steal, and to destroy. We stand against it in the name of Jesus. Let this solemn assembly come with a prayer. As this in Lord, Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapon that has been formed or shall be formed against us will prosper. We stand and condemn anything that is out to condemn us in the name of Jesus Christ. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. We dignify your name for whom you are, for what you've done, for what you will do. And Lord, let your name be accomplished in the name of Jesus. Whatever we think, we will think positively. Whatever we speak, we will speak meaningfully. Whatever we do, we do effectively. And whatever we build, we will build together firmly. This declaration is made under God. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let people of God say, Amen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Thank you very much. We are going now straight to take from the man of God, whom God himself have, have prepared for us for today. Our speaker for this occasion is the president, founder, sword of the Spirit Ministries International. He is currently the president of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. Please, let's welcome His Eminence, Bishop Francis Welle Oke, as he brings God's word. Let somebody shout hallelujah. If you are glad to be here today, and you are glad at what 
the Lord has done for us in Plateau State, shout a loud hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Plateau State, Barrister Caleb Manasseh Musfa, please permit me to stand on existing protocol because of the shortness of my time. I want to thank you for according me the honor and the privilege to bring the word of the Lord today. May the word of the Lord come clearly to each and every one of us and to the whole of Plateau State. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. What a mighty, mighty God you are. You are the God who turns captivity. You are the one who does what no man can do. And you have done it for us. And we are rejoicing. The whole of Plateau is rejoicing. All the friends of Plateau, all the indigenous of Plateau, wherever they may be on the face of the earth, they are lifting their voices, their hearts to you in thanksgiving. Lord, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, let your word come, let your power flow, let your word be confirmed, let your name be glorified. Lord, anoint my lips of clay, let it be all of you and none of me. And Lord, make my tongue like the pen of a ready writer and bless your people, bless Plateau State, and you alone receive all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Somebody who is happy, say it loudly, Amen. I will break my message into three short parts. First and foremost, to congratulate Your Excellency and the good people of Plateau State here present in the stadium or wherever they are viewing in their homes and wherever they may be on the face of the earth for the victory that God has begun to give. Mark, mark my word. God, this is just the beginning of victories. It will be victory upon victory upon victory upon victory. If you think it is begin with you, let your amen sound loud. Even you today, before you get back home, you'll be celebrating new victories in your life. In the name of Jesus. And our victory shall be permanent. I congratulate your excellency, your cabinet, and all the good people of Plateau State. Number two, part two, I will speak about the significance of what we are doing today. And I will read a scripture very quickly from the book of Luke, chapter 17. I read from verse 11. And it came to pass as he giving him thanks, and was a Samaritan. Verse 17, the last verse there. And Jesus answering said, were not ten cleansed? Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine, the other nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith as midi whole. Somebody say amen. amen. In these days, leprosy had 
no cure. In those days, leprosy signified five critical things. Leprosy was spiritual. You could not enter into the temple if you are a leper. You are considered unclean. Leprosy was a symbol of sin and uncleanness. Not only that, leprosy was social. The moment you became a leper, you will be ostracized. You will be separated from the society because leprosy being a communicable disease, you can inflict it on any other person. You can infest any other person. So they separate you. So it's social. Leprosy was a psychological affliction. When people become leprous, they suffer mentally. They feel they're not equal to other people. They feel separated, excluded, as a, a mental shutdown. Psychologically, they're afflicted. Again, not only that, leprosy was a physical affliction to afflict their body, fingers off, toes off, sometimes ears, nose off, like that, physical. And last but not the least, leprosy was economic. You can't transact business with anybody. You can't sell, you can't buy. So it was spiritual, it was psychological, it was social, it was physical, it was economic. Now, these people were afflicted with leprosy and they had no way to get cured. So they were separated until they heard Jesus was passing by and they cried to him, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Somebody here today, the mercy of God will touch your life. Lift your hand, say Jesus. Loud, say Jesus. Master, have mercy on me. Somebody say amen. The Bible says that Jesus gave them instruction to go and show themselves to the priest. And miracles began to happen in their lives. All of them were cleansed. That was the first phase, first phase of cure for leprosy. All of them were, were cleansed. All of them. They prayed in faith. Jesus answered, gave them instruction, and they were cleansed. But as they were going to the temple, one of them, when he saw, he didn't just see that he was cleansed, he saw that he was healed. That's the next phase. Because in those days, when you were found to, to be leprous, they would separate you and observe you for some time to see whether the immediate sign of leprosy was gone. That's cleansing. If they see that the immediate signs of leprosy were gone. Now, they will now shut you in to observe you for a longer period of time to see whether you are healed, which is the second stage. But this man, because of his encounter with Christ, he saw that he was cleansed, and then he was healed. And he didn't waste time at all. He left the others, and he made a U-turn, and took a deliberate intentional step, moved, turned back, and returned to the Lord to give thanks. And he didn't hide this thanksgiving. It was with a loud noise. It was, it was with demonstration. He fell down before the Lord, rolling on the floor, and giving him thanks, and giving glory to God. That brought this man to the final phase of healing, which in those days really, very rarely occurred. It only occurred to people who had a divine encounter. And Jesus just said, so out of ten, you are the one who came to give me thanks. Okay, go. Your faith has made you whole. Man, 
He moved from cleansing to healing to wholeness. And when you talk of wholeness, it means nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking, nothing absent. It means whatever had been taken from you before is restored. So if the fingers had been taken off before, the fingers came back like that of a baby. If the ears were taken off before, the ears came back because the Lord of life had spoken. He spoke wholeness into the one, the only one who returned to give thanks. Plato, I want us to recognize the significance of today. I said at the beginning that this is the beginning of healing victories, but this is the beginning of wholeness. This is wholeness, restoration. Everything that Plato has lost shall be fully restored. Plato is whole. Plato is whole. Plato is whole. I'm declaring the word of the Lord. Plato is whole. Say a loud amen. Plato is whole. Okay, let's begin. Plato is cleansed. Let everyone hear your amen. Plato is healed. Plato is whole. In Plato, nothing lacking, nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing absent. Plato is whole. Somebody declare, say, Plato is whole. How come? We laid it to heart to return to give thanks to God. So, in every area of Plato's life, politically, whatever has been stolen is restored. I stand here as a servant of the Most High God and I declare prophetically with speed, everything stolen from Plato is restored. Plato is whole. Plato is whole. In Plato, economically, everything that has been stolen is restored. Because we have laid it to heart to give thanks to God. So we have moved from cleansing to healing and to wholeness. And when you move to wholeness, in those days in leprosy, for those who are the uh, real privilege, it means the affliction can never arise again. I declare, Plato, the affliction that is ended today through your praise and thanksgiving to God, it will never arise again. Let the people of Plato say a loud amen. Plato is whole. Plato is whole. Plato is whole. Nothing missing. Nothing lacking. Nothing broken. All our captivity turned around. Everything the enemy has stolen, restored. Somebody shout hallelujah. Plato is whole. And it's beginning with you. By the time you are going home today, you just discovered that the sickness you brought to the stadium, you will never see it again. The affliction you brought, you will never see it again. The sorrow you brought, you will never see it again. The depression that had afflicted you, you will never see it again. You are whole. Now, there is no plateau without you. Somebody declare, I am whole. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it louder. Say it louder. There is power in your words. Say, I am whole. Declare, say, plateau is whole. That's the significance of thanksgiving that we're doing today. It has moved us from cleansing through to healing, through to wholeness. And the affliction that you have seen before in Plato shall never arise again. Somebody say amen. Now, the third part, before I close, I read, and I want to bring a clear word of the Lord now. I read Revelation chapter 21 and verse 5. Revelation 21 and verse 5. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout aloud hallelujah. Somebody shout a loud hallelujah. All right. I do not want to misquote the scripture. I can quote it, but I want to read it. Okay. Revelation chapter 21, 
verse 5. The Bible says, And he that seated upon the throne said, I make all things new. And he says, Write, for this word is true and faithful. Who was speaking there? The one who sits upon the throne. Not on the throne of Nigeria, not on the throne of Plato, but the one who sits on the throne of the universe. The one who has the final say. And he says, I make all things new. Plato, I make bold to say, standing in my office through the grace of God, as a prophet of the Most High God, from the thanksgiving of today, God is making all things new for Plato. Politically, say amen. Economically, socially, financially, in development, in education, in every sphere, the one who sits upon the throne says, I make all things new. All things are new for Plato from this day forward. We have moved from cleansing to healing to wholeness. Wholeness. Everything restored. Nothing lacking. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. God says, I make all things new. May the word of the Lord be fulfilled in your life. May the word of the Lord be filled in Plato State. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Father, we thank you. Thank you for laying it upon the heart of your son, our beloved governor, to call for this thanksgiving. To openly give you thanks. Like that one leper out of ten. And he had come here to lead the thanksgiving singing. The thanksgiving dancing, the thanksgiving prayer. All of us joined, the whole of Plato and the friends of Plato joined to say thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. We receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. And as a proof that you have received our thanks, you have declared that Plato is whole. Nothing lacking, nothing missing. Nothing broken. You are restoring everything the enemy has stolen in every sphere of Plato's life. And we shall live to see it. We receive your word for Plato in the name of Jesus. And let this word begin fulfillment. Let it begin its fulfillment in the life of everyone who is saying amen to you. That before they get home today, they will experience wholeness they will experience restoration. They will experience total healing in the mighty name of Jesus. And every negative thing that has happened in their lives will be totally reversed and their joy will be full. And Lord in heaven, thank you for making all things new for Plato State. Beginning with our governor, His Excellency, Barrister Caleb Butuan, and the cabinet, the House of Assembly, and every part of the state, the economy, the education, the social life, every part. Father, thank you for making all things new. We believe this is your faithful and true word. Thank you because it is done. Receive all the glory, all the honor. We can see a new plateau state. No more insecurity. Agents of insecurity have been cleared by God. There is peace upon plateau. No more economic failure. No more economic struggle. Plateau is blossoming and blooming in the name of Jesus. No more retarded progress. Plateau is flying high. All things are new. Everything the enemy stole had been restored. We return all the glory to you. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise for the fulfillment of your word. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Let the people of Plateau say amen. amen. If you are receiving that word, shout a loud hallelujah. hallelujah. It can be louder than that. Shout a louder hallelujah. hallelujah. It can yet be louder. Shout a louder hallelujah. hallelujah. Give the Lord Jesus a big hand. Give me a big hand. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. That was our guest preacher for today, His Eminence Bishop Francis Waleoke, the president of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. We are most grateful, sir. While this message is still ringing in our hearts, uh, we are going to have a special number. But before then, let me quickly acknowledge the presence of one of our leaders, distinguished Senator Hezekiah Dumuka. We welcome you, sir. We welcome you. We also acknowledge the presence of Bishop David Bakari. is the National Vice President, Christian Association of Nigeria, Northeast. We welcome you. And our mother is also here, uh, the wife of uh, our father and leader, the wife of Apostle Nuhul Kure of the Throne Room Trust Ministry, uh, Mommy Pastor Martha uh, Nuhu Ukure. We welcome you all the way from Kaduna State. Now, this special number is coming from nobody else uh, than the lady with a distinguishing political and academic uh, mark in Nigeria. Uh, she's, he, she's a double H-E, a double uh, Her Excellency. Her Excellency, she's Ambassador Her Excellency, uh, the wife of the first governor, civilian governor of Plateau State. Uh, so the first lady under the civilian rule in Plateau State, Mama, Her Excellency, Her Excellency, Professor, Mrs. Mary Lar, she has a special number. And that ministry of politics has continued with the Amazon standing here, our sister. Yes. And complimented, yes. The, the mother of the, ah, the mother of the SGS. Uh, Mama is also here, a retired permanent uh, secretary, uh, Mrs. Chato. It's good to see you again. Mama, you're welcome. She's presenting a special number. Thank you very, very much, uh, my son. Your Excellency and Her Excellency, you will be surprised to see me here. I'm not even on the, on the program, but it was only yesterday I was convinced that even though I don't have the energy to jump all on, up and down like my son who did it here, but the aged too want to celebrate Jesus on this occasion. And so the young ones have come to supplement my energy. I want to involve everyone in this special Thanksgiving song. Something equivalent to Gida Gida, but I used to hear it in my own home at Lantang. But when they sing it, I want you to follow when they are singing it too. Join it. Do the jumping and do the joy on my behalf. Me will only be asking you questions and you give answers. And so people of Plato said, do you have a God? Yes. 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 Answer it again. People of Plato, is that your God worthy of trust? Yes, yes, yes. Is he worthy to be to keep forever? Yes, yes, yes. Is he a mighty God? Yes, yes, yes. Is your God the God of peace? Yes. Is your 
have got the God of love. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, is your God the God of unity? Yes, yes, yes. If he is, then let us join our mouths and our praises together to praise this God. Praise the, the Lord. Lord our God. Let us praise the Lord our God. The Lord is faithful. Praise the Lord our God. Let us praise the Lord our God. The Lord is faithful. Praise the Lord our God. Let us praise the Lord our God. The Lord is faithful. Praise the Lord our God. Praise the Lord our God, the Lord is faithful. Oh, nan, oh, nan, 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 People, always remember the God of Plateau State. Don't forget him at any stage. Are you going to praise him and end here only today? No. 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 So, what do we, are we going to do? Praise the Lord our God. Let us praise the Lord our God. The Lord is faithful. Praise the Lord our God. The Lord, our God, the Lord is faithful. We will praise Him. We will praise Him. We will praise Him forevermore. Even when we are dying, we will praise Him. We will praise Him. We will praise Him forevermore. Even when we're in poverty, we will praise Him. We will praise Him. We will praise him forevermore. We will praise him. Oh, Sheba Dini Nani Nani Ben. Sheba Dini Nani. Oh, Sheba Dini Nani Nani Ben. Sheba Dini Nani. Oh, Sheba Dini Nani Nani Ben. Sheba Dini Nani. Oh, Sheba Dini Nani Nani Ben. Sheba Dini Nani. Oi sheba dini nani nani ben ben sheba dini nani oi sheba dini nani nani ben ben Please a round of applause for mama She's done her part in the academics she's done her part politically and she's doing her part also ecclesiastically so we praise God for her life I call on Dabs Dabs you're here ready Dabs can you give us a staring number that is very uplifting? Thank you. All right. We deeply appreciate your presence at this huge gathering. It reminds me of Monday, the 29th of May, 2023. That was when we were gathered like this. And that was the day that Barrister Caleb Murfang took the oath of office to be the governor of Plateau State, together with uh, our mother, Honorable Josephine Pio, as his deputy. We were gathered like this. It was a very orderly crowd. It was a very uh, lively crowd. And it was a green and white crowd. But the diversity of the nation, the diversity of Plateau State, is reflected at this stadium uh, this afternoon. Dabs, you're on. Thank you. Plato, praise the Lord. Plato, praise the Lord. Can we shout it's a new day? Say it's a new Plato. Say Plato the prophecy. Say the new you is better than the past. Oh, can we clap for the new Plato? Hallelujah. Oh, tell somebody congratulations. Say, we've entered the new. Say, the devil is in trouble. Say, a new generation is born. Say, the fearless plateau generation are here. Oh, yes, keep clapping your hands.
Hallelujah. 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 Who is like unto him? Oh Lord, who is like unto him? Oh Lord. Oh, even though it singeth, who is like him? You are glorious in holiness and fearful in praise. Always wonders, hallelujah. Who oh, is like unto you, Yahweh? Who is like unto him? Oh Lord, among the gods, who is like him? You are holy, glorious in holiness and fearful in praise. Always doing wonders, hallelujah. Always do. Wing wonders in plateau, doing wonders, hey, doing wonders, hallelujah. Can you wave your hand or sing it one more time? Who is like unto you, Yahweh? Oh, who is like unto you, Wanene Kamarka? Amongst all the gods, amongst all the gods of the nations, who is like you? Because you are glorious in your holiness and fearful in praises always. Hey, always doing wonders, I say. Because you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, take a day. Hey! Take a day, Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh. 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 Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh. One more time. Oh, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hear the song of the altar plateau. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey, hey, Just wave your hand, bless the Lord, and worship Him. Sanctify the name Jesus over the nation, Plateau. Oh, Plateau, the prophecy. We herald you into a new birth. We release, we release you from the yokes, from the pain of the past. Oh, we release Plateau. We call you the covenant land of the middle belt. We release you. Oh, we release you, Plateau. We call you out of the shadow into the new day, Plateau. You are Plateau, the prophecy. Thank you, Jesus. Mungo de Maka. Hey, Kaya, Bundabutumbe, Ganiba. 
Caia. Nina ganga benda Yesu ya Nina ganga benda Yesu ya Yesu na beba mu kunyaba Yesu na beba mu kunyaba Nina ganga benda Yesu ya Nina ganga benda Yesu ya Yesu na baza kabar muba Yesu na baza kab ni na gang ni na gang na bunda Yesu ya i ni na gang ni na Yesu na Yesu na baza ya bar Nina gang, Yesu na, Yesu na, baza ya bermuba, Yesu na, hey, so kagang, so kagang, Yesu na, Yesu na, baza ya bermuba. Yesu na, ni na gang, Klato sing it, come on, ni na gang, Yesu na, Yesu na, bafsa ya berni ba, Yesu na, one more time, kuche, ni na gang, don't. Mazaya Barkaba, Yesu na, Mazaya Barkaba, Yesu na, Mazaya Barkaba. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Thank you very much, Dabs. We'll go into another session of prayer, and it's my privilege and honor to invite the Reverend Doctor Gideon Paramalam to please take this session that focuses on a special prayer for victims of attacks, captives still in the hands of kidnappers and people who are displaced. Insecurity has consumed many lives in Plateau State, and indeed in Nigeria. Many of our daughters, including some from Plateau, are right now in captivity in Boko Haram's camp. Insurgency is a sad reality of our situation in Nigeria. I'd like us to rise to honor those who have lost their lives and will all observe one minute silence. Please, can I ask for silence all over? Can we be quiet for one minute to honor the people of Plateau who have lost their lives because of insecurity, some because of insurgency, May God answer our prayer, and may they not die in vain, in the name of Jesus. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this afternoon. 
the scourge of insecurity in this country. It's not above you. The deadly weapon of insurgency is not beyond you. We ask, O oh God, that you breathe your fresh life upon Plateau State, your fresh life upon Nigeria. We ask, O oh God, that in the name of Jesus, you will intervene divinely. What the military will do and other security forces, what the government will do at the state level, at the federal level, we ask, O oh God, that you will place your blessings upon their plans and grant, O oh God, that insecurity will become history in Plateau State. That insecurity will become history in Nigeria. We stand before you, O oh God, and we cry, the Lord, the blood of the innocent that cry out to you daily like the blood of Abel. O oh God Almighty, let insecurity and insurgency be defeated in the name of Jesus. You are the God of all power, for there is none like you. God Almighty, arise in your power and scatter Boko Haram. Scatter Iswap. God Almighty, let your power and your anger be revealed upon these situations of darkness and wickedness upon our nation. Because you are a God of the hills and a God of the valleys, the God of the low places and the God of the high places. We ask, oh God, that you arise and let the spirit of the living God breathe over the chambers of power in this nation that those who have suffered for their sake, oh God, move our leaders to act rightly. That this wickedness will be brought to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. And as I take my seat, I want you all to know that God is at work. Between April 2022 and December this year, 18 of our daughters held by Boko Haram were miraculously brought out by God Almighty. And to God's glory... Two of them are in this thanksgiving prayer. God is at work. Let's put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, uh, Reverend Dr. Paramalam. We will take uh, another musical interlude and I'd uh, like to invite our brother, properly dressed as Malam. Rasville Varkadazwa Plateau State, hallelujah! Plateau State, hallelujah! Come on, jump on your feet, let's do it together. I say hallelujah, somebody! Amen! Amen! To Ubangiji Kaine Allah! Kai Komado, Kakin Sarkine! Do kai kai sama kai kasa kai kogi na mai ko mai da kowa Idan ka ba mu kai ka ba mu Yawan ka hana mu ba mai ba mu Babu kama da kai Yesu na ce babu kama da kai Yesu Babu wani gwamnati ko wani rising na dollar mai kama da kai Yesu Ba wani court case ko wani magudi mai kama da kai Yesu Yau duk mun kawo godiya don't go bang it, you buy a mamsa. I call Kuwa. Call your Jay Maka. I call Mansa dozen, dozen. I call Mansa. Your blessings. Your miracle. Your healing. Ran from heaven. Your open doors. Break it up. 
Now tell your neighbor, not dodge. Say she done your fadi. Say it again, not dodge. Say she done your fadi. Come on, jump on your feet, let's do it. Come on, somebody. Come on, everybody. Hey! I can't hear you guys. Say, sing it. Everybody, say, and Yabini, say, and One day I was traveling from Jaws. Come on, in my moto, on my way to Yola. From a distance I saw a gongoro. Some people call it trailer, but he don't go body. Sing it. This trailer lose control. I also lose control and I started tumbling. I tumble number one and I tumble number two. Then I shouted, Jesus. Say, my form against me shall prosper. My form against you shall prosper. Babu machine shaitan. One does I saw many. My form against me shall prosper. My form against you shall prosper. Say, Babu give me a mugu. One does I saw make us say, Me, I be God be king. I no go fear any trouble, Lord. Everybody, oh yes, you be God be king. Make you no fear. Any trouble, go shake that ya bika. Shake that ya bini, say na don. Aye, say ya fadi. Let me hear you. Shake that ya bini, say na don. Aye, say ya fadi. Everybody, say na don. Shake that ya bini, say na don. Aye, say ya fadi. One more time. Tabani, <laughs> One day at a body at a body. One day at a body at a body. One day at a body at a body. One day at a body. Share the yabini. Share the yabini. Say that. Hey, say I can't hear you. Come on, 
Concerning Plato State, it's too late for the devil. Now say, concerning Plato State, it's too late for the devil. Jump on your feet, but you can't have it, you Ojoko, let's go. Dagaskia Game da haka ne shi yasa za mu zo yanzu mu saurari shi danwa wanda an fi sanin sa da apostle of thanksgiving shi ba wani waka man da yayi da ba zai sa godiya a ciki ba kuma abin da muka zo yi kenan yau domin haka ina so in kira shi danwa wato mawaki wa me bishara ta wurin waka Solomon Lange.
Bless the name of Lord Jesus. Suchiata Nagane. Suchiata Nagane. Suchiata I Nagane. Ya bo na kene Suchi ata ai na kene Suchi ata ai na kene Suchi ata ya yesu na kene Ya bo na kene Zuchiata, Zuchiata, Nakane, Zuchiata, Zuchiata, Nakane, Nakane, Zuchiata, Zuchiata, Nakane, Nakane, Yabonakane, Yabona, hey, Zuchiata. Feel. Lord, my heart is yours. Lord, my heart is yours. You rescued my soul. You rescued my soul from darkness. From darkness into light. Your love, your love, it never fails. Chicken do, oh chicken dare, but Ya yesu masoina. Go I can't to do, oh chicken quarry, Ya yesu you heard my voice and you lifted my head. Ya Yesu Masoina. Aina Kirasu Nanka. You heard my voice. Yes, you lifted my head, Jesus. 
grace to this administration let's prophesy grace to this to this um, this government and this state are you ready lift up your hands raise your hands I'll hearing ubangichina having mama kine yesu ya bara chininsa hey fansaya nadam I'll hear him, son, I'll hear him, To carry you out. I see grace. I see grace. I see grace. All I see is grace. I see grace. I see grace. Thank you very much, Solomon Lange, for those uh, beautiful songs of thanksgiving to the Lord. We are moving quickly to close to the end of our program today. Your Excellencies, we are now going to be taking goodwill messages. And may I request their Excellencies and our eminent personalities who are going to be giving goodwill messages here today, that because of the distance between you and the podium, we would like you to come forward as I call the following names uh, for the purpose of being very close here so that when it is time, you can give your goodwill message. Because we have spent so much time here today and it is important that we do so we want to ask we want to request that when you are called up here you will have two minutes my directors said one minute i don't know how i'm going to announce one minute to the bongon uh or <laughs> or even to some major generals i'm seeing here so let me announce two minutes. After here, I can take the punishment from my leaders behind the scene. But the first person to...
to give his goodwill message is uh, the Bongon Jaws, that Dr. Jacob Gian Buba. We will ask him now to come. After him, we will be giving the space. Okay. Uh, why our father is coming up, not in any particular order of protocol now, we will ask um, uh, our father, Bonyaruna, His Excellency, to give his goodwill message first. Hallelujah. Uh, Your Excellency, our brother, Governor Khalif, and his dear wife, your excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is a wonderful moment for all of us, and we want to thank God for our lives, for the life of our governor, and indeed for Plateau State. I want to say that there may be a very unique thing about your governor that you don't seem to know. I was the first governor in Nigeria whose election was annulled by a tribunal. And that was 20 years ago. If you know what it means for somebody to have occupied the office of governor, even if it is for one day, and then suddenly you are told that you are no longer a governor, you know what is going through is unimaginable. It is painful. There is no word to describe the situation such a person goes through. And I'm telling you from my personal experience. But here you have your own. And I too take inspiration from the story of David. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 1 to 8. David lost everything at the war in Zeglag. You all know the story. He was in a terrible situation. He didn't know what to do. But the Bible says he sought the Lord. He went unto the Lord. He sought strength in the Lord. And that is the story of your governor. His strength was in the Lord. Each time we met in Abuja, or I was honored by him to visit me, what he tells me always is that the Lord is on the throne. So you have a governor that seeks, that finds strength in the Lord even in the most difficult situation as your leader. You could not have had a better governor than this. Somebody who in a state of almost seemingly hopelessness, but he says he takes strength in the Lord. And let me tell you, when you seek strength in the Lord, it means you believe in the Lord. If you don't believe, you don't get any response. But because he believed, the Lord responded. David, in that hopeless situation, when he sought the Lord, the Lord told him he should pursue, and he will overtake, and he will recover all. That was the approach of our brother. He pursued, he overtook, and he recovered. Our Lord is a Lord of resurrection, is a Lord of restoration. And because he believed in the Lord, the Lord responded positively. And so, my request to you, the people of Plato, is to continue to uphold him in prayers. 
continue to lift him up, that the Lord will give him wisdom. The Lord will empower him. Things that look impossible will look possible in his regime. In the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. We will now call Major General Dr. Onoja MNI CFR as he gives his two minutes message. Your Excellency, please, I crave your indulgence to stand on the existing protocol. I'm here on invitation to join His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Plateau State, to a thanksgiving service to God Almighty over the recent validation of his election victory by the Supreme Court. That verdict is victory for democracy. for Plato people, and for the cause of justice. Also, as you know, Plato State is my second home. As long as I live, I will continue to identify with the people of Plato. And I'm sure Plato will also continue to identify with me. You know that Plateau, like my state Benue, others particularly in Nigeria's Middle Belt, have suffered cases of injustice and from the hands of this evil attacker. But God has always protected us. Whenever God intervenes in our situations like this, it calls for thanksgiving to God May this singular event foster a greater sense of unity of all Plateau people. And their good neighbors across ethnic, religious, and cultural divide. And I encourage them to so remain united, for it is in unity of purpose that our resistance and defeat of the enemy will be more effectively achieved. I take this opportunity to also commiserate with the governor and the good people of Plateau State over the recent killings of innocent citizens through the condemnation of unwarranted and unprovoked attacks. We pray for divine comfort for families of the victims. I will seize this opportunity to appeal to my constituency, the security agencies, to regularly review their operational tactics as well as be more proactive in handling these attacks, using intelligence and early warning indications. It is gladdening to see the return of true Plato spirit, of oneness and love in this gathering. I pray that this be sustained I am very convinced that in the next eight years after this governor, after he has finished his two terms, I am confident that Plateau will almost be better than Dubai. I wish you all well. Thank you, and God bless the good people of Plateau State. 
Thank you very much. Very quickly, we will be calling Emeka Etieba, uh, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, and who is also the head of the legal team of His Excellency. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Uh, Your Excellency and uh, Her Excellency, all protocols duly observed. Today is a good day. Uh, I am, I'm talking to a friend of over 39 years. His Excellency and I met in Unijos and became classmates. Unlike me, he has never seen corruption. He has always been a good man. And when he was elected the governor of Latu State, I said, thanks be to God. When the devil started to fight, the confirmation came because the devil never fights his own. He fights those that are on the Lord's side. And by the grace of God, the Lord prevailed in his favor. And so today we are here to glorify the Lord. As our daddy in the Lord, Bishop Wale Oke has prophesied, Plateau was healed on the day the judgment came. Today, Plateau State has been made whole. It will amaze you to know that since the judgment of the Supreme Court came, no champagne has been popped by the governor. All he has been thinking of is, what do I do for my people? The Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you. In the book of, uh, in the Bible, in the book of Kings, the Bible uh, describes the men that walked with David as remnants. But when you get to the second Kings, he described the same people as powerful men with David. The men that are walking with you shall be powerful men. They will end up uplifting this nation, this state the way the Lord has proposed it. I wish you well. I wish Plateau State well. I thank uh, all my colleagues who were with us all through this struggle. Uh, my big brother, Akubo, Pius Akubo, SN, is in our midst. I'm sure the governor has not noticed him. He took this legal team from nothing to where it is today. Glory goes to God, but the praise also goes to him and to all that toiled, the Attorney General of this state, and all. May God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lionel Silk. He promised to take just two minutes, and he did exactly that. The next person who is going to speak, I'm not sure if you will be able to speak for two minutes, but I know that Mamumbasha Oshima say Imana one minute ko emeje zona abinshi. So can I get okay, two minutes? But while he is going on, I would like to also invite upstage here our father, uh, the former governor of this state, Pastor Dr. Jana Jang, to also come forward and take his seat here, and also the current chairman. It's my pleasure now to invite the father of the land, our father, the Bongon Joss, Da Dr. Jacob Gian Buba, to take the stage. Your Excellency. The executive governor of Plateau State and his dear wife. And to the rest of us, I say, you are all welcome, God's children. We are here today to give thanks to the Lord for the wonderful things he has done. And a couple of pastors have spoken here and they said the battle is finished. I stand here on behalf of the Plateau State Council of Chiefs and Airmares 
to also reiterate to reiterate the fact that the battle indeed is finished. And I want to use this opportunity to remind His Excellency. When the Vice President came here and we drove with him to Bokos, and this was not even, this was even before the judgment. But the governor was so confident that he called other former governors that were there and confessed to the people that they have been the cause of the discomfort in Plato State. But he sincerely apologized and said they had met and have agreed to make Plato peaceful. And that is why I stand here on behalf of the State Traditional Council to hold Your Excellency Governor Caleb Manasseh Murfang to these words that he himself uttered. And I want to thank God for the confidence he, he had when he made this. And I want to believe God saw his clean heart. And that is why we are today celebrating and giving God thanks for this very uh, victory. I also want to remind him of what King David said when Saul was pursuing him, he met Saul fast asleep in a, in a cave and was in a position to slaughter Paul, uh, Saul. And the people with him were urging him to do that. But he said, no. Who am I to touch the anointed of God? And he left him. Even when he caught a bit of his cloth, he regretted, and he regretted it and prayed to God for forgiveness. All these are available to you. And by your grace, the new Plato state that uh, Bishop O.K. had pronounced will manifest immediately after this thanksgiving. Yeah. In fact, those of us in the traditional council, we don't admire you. The crowd that we are seeing today was similar to the, that, like the crowd that gathered here when you were being sworn into office. And even at that, and the things that happened before this judgment, we don't, really, we don't, we don't envy you at all. Because there is a lot of expectation from the from Plato State on you. And I know you have heavy shoulders, but not heavy enough to carry the expectation of these people. But I know also you know God. He only will guide you into fulfilling the yearnings of these downtrodden people. People who have been who have gone through so much strain because of the poor economy, because of insecurity, and we are still on. But they had the courage to gather in these numbers to come and give thanks to God for his wonderful work. However, let me sound a word of warning. Just like Jesus, at his triumphant entry into Jerusalem, there was a crowd, maybe bigger than this, that were hailing him. They were hailing him because they thought he was going to take over from the Romans. But when that didn't manifest, 
Well, did that, that didn't happen. The same crowd turned and were the ones shouting, crucify him. May it never be so with you. May this crowd always go along with you to encourage you into restoring the plateau of our dream. We have prayed to God. God has given us the victory. Now, what is your response? Response, God is watching me. The only way this thanksgiving can manifest itself is when you deliver. And then God will know that we really we were serious when we gave him thanksgiving. The burden is with you, but the Lord is also with you. I had cause to say to some of your appointees some time ago, and I want to publicly say it to them here today. There is a house saying that says, Ba a mugun serki se mugun bafadeko. I hope everybody knows the implication of that. Those that are appointed by the governor, if things do not go well, nobody remembers them. It's only the governor that is remembered. Nobody remembers how much he preached to them, but the governor is re held responsible. And so I want to appeal to every appointee, everybody who will have cause to work for Plateau State, that this assignment is not for the governor alone. It is our assignment. And in our little corners, if we do our own bit, even just by obedience, the Lord will bless us accordingly. It is not we have prayed, we have sung, we have crowned uh, uh, when But let me remind us that the Bible clearly says it is not what about what we say. It is about what we do. So the Christianity we're praying today is a Christianity of doing, not only of saying. May we find grace with God to truly do his will. And I want to appeal all of us gathered here and those at home we must continue to cooperate with him. Each one of us has a role to play. And when we play this role diligently, we will hear. Or maybe he will build a bigger stadium for us, for us to celebrate the goodness of God in Plato State. There is serious discord in Plato. Tribal discord, ethnic discord. If we do not mend fences and come together, our prayers today, our thanksgiving today are a waste of time. So I will appeal. I thank God that some few days ago we were with the traditional council. And this was the thing that we were talking about. How to reconcile ourselves and move as a people. God did not make a mistake of bringing us together into these states. He did not make a mistake in, you know, giving us the neighbors that make up Plateau State. And we can only glorify God if we come together, reconcile our differences, and make sure that we make the plateau of our dream. God bless us, God bless the governor, and God bless the government of Plateau State. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Very quickly, we are going to... Yeah, no. Very quickly, we are going to call the former governor of Plateau State, pa Pastor Dr. Jonah Jang, to give us his one and a half minutes goodwill message. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Your Excellency, Governor Caleb Mutuang and your beloved wife, 
that is done on the pro on protocol already established because time is almost far gone. Let me just say three quick things. Plateau. 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 Yes, sir. The day they gave the judgment, I told people who were with me, I said, those that have not accepted Christ on the plateau, by this case, they must accept Christ. Because he has done it for us. He is good. We are here to give him thanks. For hearing our prayers. For hearing our cries. I want to urge the people of Plateau to surrender to Christ. Every Sunday we carry big Bibles to the church or to the churches. And by the time we come out, what came, here, came in here goes out there, and we go back to our good selves. Why am I saying this? When I was on seat, and there were these attacks, I cried with tears before God. And God told me, why are you crying to me? Your people are stiff-necked. If they happen unto me, will I allow this to happen? Plato said, let us turn to God. Let's turn to Christ. He has heard us. He has answered our prayers. It is up to us now to support Caleb Mutwang with our prayers for this coming eight years. Amen. When I had that cry before God, I spoke to the leadership of our churches, and a meeting was summoned in this Rampam Stadium. And I lied at the center of this stadium, and I handed over Plateau to God. But this problem has not stopped. It has not stopped because we have not changed. If we change and surrender our hearts to God, these attackers, these Fulanis, God will take them away from us. Amen. I want to take this opportunity quickly. As the father of this state, I want to pray and ask God Father Almighty, your son has appreciated what you have done for him and for Plato, and you have given him the victory. You have given Plato said the victory. Father, like I said, as the father of Plato said, I'm handing him over to you in this very stadium that is named after one of our very senior traditional rulers. Father Almighty, receive him and his family. Receive him and his cabinet. Receive him and his appointees. That Father Almighty, once again, we hand over Plato. Thank you for giving him to us as governor. Father Almighty, may you hold him by your righteous right hand and lead him in your paths of righteousness, Amen. in your paths of truthfulness, Amen. in your paths of holiness, Amen. that Father Almighty, he will serve you in your righteousness, in your truthfulness, in your holiness, Amen. and that Plato will be known as your own home, because you have chosen Plato to bless Nigeria. Amen. Give him the opportunity to do it for you, and on our behalf, for we are Pray with thanksgivings and with great faith in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. Let me hear a greater amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you very much.
We are grateful. We will now close this. We will now close this um, goodwill session by calling on the chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria uh, for Plateau State, Reverend Father Polika Lubo, to come and give his goodwill message. Praise the Lord. Your Excellency, our Executive Governor of Plateau State, Barrister Khaled Menasseh Murfang, I use you as a point of contact to all Christians and the people of Plateau State. I always thank my God for you because of his grace given to you in Christ. You stood firm prayerfully you structurally structured in defense of the wishes of the good people of Plato State. And God has given you victory, and victory to the people of Plato State. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Expectation on you is very high, but God will give you the necessary implements to accomplish what he has designed to the good people of Plato State through you. Your Excellency, no shaking. I call on all Christians to daily pursue Barista Caleb M. Murfang with prayers to succeed. Khan is readily available to support you in any area of advancement. Don't forget, we love you. And we are proud of you any day, any time. Go, therefore, the Lord is with you and your strength. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you very much, Khan Chairman. Now we will be calling the People's Governor, His Excellency, and his entire family that are here, and members of his Covenant that are here is appointees to all okay his family to come forward here as we pray for him and for Plateau State very specially. But for now, he will be responding and then the prayer will go on thereafter.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to give thanks to God Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, the one who knows how to enthrone kings and knows how to dethrone kings. The one who opens a door and no man can shut. And the one who shuts a door no man can open. I want to thank God for the privilege he has given me as an individual the privilege he has given me singled me out, my wife and my children, and singled me out of the entire Mutfang family, some of who are standing on the podium this afternoon with me, and given us the privilege and the honor to serve the people of Plateau State. It's an honor we do not take for granted. It's an honor we appreciate God for because we don't deserve it. But that it has pleased him to bestow this honor upon us. We want to say to the Lord God Almighty, Lord, we thank you. Thank you also, the people of Plateau State, that you agreed with God to bring us to this place of honor. If you did not agree with God, you would not have voted for us. But you voted for us joyfully. You voted for us willfully. You voted for us without any inducement. And here we are today because you cooperated with God. I want to thank all of you, the people of Plateau State, and our friends and brothers across Nigeria, who stood with us over the last seven months. There were moments, I can tell you in all honesty, that I almost gave up. But God reassured us. That faithful is he who has begun a good work. He will always perfect that which he has begun. And today we stand in testimony of the faithfulness of God. We have seen the fulfillment of the word of God over our lives. And God has come through to us, even in our unfaithfulness. I want to thank God. For those who stood up in the place of prayer, I have never seen people pray like they prayed over this plateau subject. People prayed. People prayed. God will not forget your labor of love. God will remember each and every one of you. Because if it were not for prayer, the enemy had almost swept us off. If you know the conspiracy and the gang up. But because we knew that we were in God's will and that God's purpose was upon our lives, we knew that God will come through to us. And indeed he did. We want to say thank you, Lord, and we say thank you to our people. Indeed, as I see this crowd, it tells me only one thing, which the service leader did mention, the bong, his majesty did mention, is that the expectations of the people are high. And yet I have nothing in myself to offer to you, but I know that with God, all things are possible. God who brought us this way and this far, he will never fail us nor abandon us. 
He will provide us with the means to satisfy your needs. Amen. I have trusted God that out of the, 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 the five loaves and two fishes, that there will be abundance on the plateau. Amen. And that there will be an overflow that others will be blessed through. Amen. So let me thank all of you, but particularly let me thank my own family also my wife, my children, and my siblings who have always stood by me. Sometimes you will not know when I am crying and shedding tears, but they know. But they have always stood behind me, and I want to say thank you. I want to appreciate the, the father of our state, and I say this without apology to anybody. That Dara Jiang is the father of Plateau State. God has given him that commission to watch over the state in a fatherly role. And I'm grateful that I have him as a father. And his dear wife, Gotalatu Jang, I want to appreciate all of you. I want to appreciate the Speaker of the House of Assembly, a young man who never dreamt of becoming a speaker, but destiny thrust him in line. And so far, he has not disappointed. The Lord will keep you. I want to bless God for the Chief Judge of Plateau State, the Honorable Justice David Mann, who has continued to play a statesmanly role to ensure that the judiciary performs its role as it should on the plateau. My Lord, we thank you. I want to thank the former military governor of Plateau State, our father, General Lawrence Onoja, the man who started the new stadium project on Zaria Road. The man who did many projects on the plateau. Your labors on the plateau will not be forgotten. By the grace of God, we will finish that which you have started. I want to thank Governor Boni Aruna who has had to, in order to catch his flight, for providing me useful counsel from his experience as a past governor. I want to thank the, my dear brothers from the National Assembly, the senators that you elected. Even though now they are internally displaced, but I know that you still hold them as the people you elected. Thank you, distinguished Senator Simon Watcon, who by the grace of God we will come again on the 3rd of February to re-elect. I want to thank the distinguished Air Vice Marshal Napoleon Bali, and I'm sure that by the grace of God, the elevation to which God has brought you will not be lost. I thank God for the members of the House of Reps, ably led by the oldest of them in the, in the House of Reps, Honorable Betty Lar, Honorable Isaac Kualu, Honorable Peter Gendeng, Honorable uh, Musa Aga, eh? Honorable Dachung Musa Bagos, and God willing, we will gather again to re-elect Musa Aga on the 3rd of February. I want to thank the members of the State House of Assembly that we are unjustly dislocated. We'll continue to work together for the benefit of your constituencies. I want to thank God for also our father who has had to leave 
because of the exigencies of time, Professor Jerry Ghana, who has always stood by us from the time we emerged uh, as a candidate of the PDP. I want to thank also uh, Mama Mary Lar, the first executive, the wife of the first executive governor of Plateau State. She has been a mother indeed. Mama, we thank you. I want to thank the other members of the judiciary and legislature that are here. We appreciate you for coming. I want to appreciate members of my own political party, the People's Democratic Party, ably led by the National Vice Chairman of the party, the Honorable Theophilus Dakashan, and also the State Chairman of the party, the only chairman of a party that was re-elected two times, the Honorable Chris Hassan, and all the members of the ESCO of the party that are here. Of course, I must thank my own appointees and officials and lieutenants, ably led by the Secretary to the Government of the State, Architect Sam Jato, who supervised the putting of this meeting together. It's been a pleasure working with all of you and members of the State Executive Council. I want to thank uh, the members of the Security Council who are here, permanent secretaries, local government transition chairman, and of course, the other revered traditional rulers who are here. But let me particularly thank the church on the plateau, ably led by our fathers who are the heads of denominations. I want to thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your leadership. And my desire, my prayer, as always, is that may God unite the church on the plateau. May the church on the plateau become a catalyst for unity across the nation. I want to thank the chairman of Khan also for providing leadership for all the Christian bodies. I want to thank you especially. But let me thank you. It will look like I kept it last and it looks like the least, but it's not so. I must appreciate our Father in the Lord, Bishop Wale Oke, who came all the way from Ibadan to be with us at this Thanksgiving service. He had to cut short all his programs. Sir, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord continue to anoint you with grace for the days ahead. We thank you and your wife for this labor of love. May the Lord remember your labor of love. They had come earlier before the Supreme Court judgment. He led the entire national executive of PFF to come and pray with me. And I won't forget how we laid on our, on our stomachs and cried to God. And indeed, God has proved that he answers prayer. <coughs> Let me thank our friends in the media. Our friends in the media, you have demonstrated capacity beyond measure. You have shown that indeed, you are not only the fourth estate of the realm, but that you are actually the spokespersons for those who do not have opportunity to speak out. The media has done us well and proud on the plateau. Even beyond the correspondence on the plateau, nationally, the, your colleagues and your senior colleagues, your editors, they took over our fight and demanded for justice on the plateau. And indeed, we got justice. I must not fail to thank their lordships, the justices of the Supreme Court, 
who were also able to rise to the occasion and found their voice and decided to resist any pressure whatsoever and they were able to deliver justice. To them we are most grateful. I have said it before and I will say it again that the Nigerian president is one of the most powerful presidents on earth. If he decides if he decides to do, he will do. If he decides to undo, he will undo. And I want to thank particularly Mr. President Asiwajibola Metinibu for restraining himself from intruding into the judicial space and therefore allow the judiciary to do its job as it should. If not, it could have been a different story. But above all, we must give glory back to God. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. Glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory. Hallelujah. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. We give glory. We give glory. We give glory to the Lord. people, let me promise you that by the grace of God, this is a new beginning. It's a beginning of the fulfillment of the promises we have made to you. And by the grace of God, we will not fail you. We are determined to leave Plato to a new realm. We will continue where our great leaders have stopped will ride on their shoulders and raise plateau to a new level. I know God will supply the means, but I can assure you that the heart to do it is there with us. All we need are the, the, is, a, is the enablement to do what God wants us to do. So by the grace of God, continue to pray for us. We will work together. And I'm sure that the, the prophecies that have come is that all of us, all of us, individually and collectively as a state, we will move from healing, we will move to wholeness, and we will move to greater heights. The Lord bless you and keep you. Those who came from afar, may the Lord take you back safely. May the Lord cause that Satan will not have cause to rejoice over any one of us. Thank you and God bless. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. While the governor and his wife and his family are still here, it's my honor and privilege to invite the president of the Church of Christ in Nations, Reverend Dr. Amos Mozo, to lead the prayer for this first family. Excellency, it is a very big joy for us to spend this day before the Lord today. I just want to read a verse of verses from Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 to 8 as just 
an admonition to you upon all that have been said. And when I am going to do that, all the heads of denominations that are on the plateau, please, I would request you to come here. We will cycle the family of the governor as I pray. Heads of denominations, please come round. Because the place will not be enough for us, just the head of denominations, we surround them and then I lead the prayers. The word of God through Joshua no one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. For I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. Be strong and courageous. For you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I saw to your ancestors. I will give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Put the law before you. Let us pray. Our brother Caroline and our mother Helene. Today, God has opened door and selected you out of thousands to be the, His Excellency of this state, to lead the affairs of Plato State. The burden is heavy. The tax is enormous. But the strength is not yours. The strength is of God. As the head of denominations on the plateau, as the entire Christians on the plateau, we gather today to key in into your thanksgiving and to lift you up before the throne of grace, that God will not abandon you. He will take you to the higher height. He has a purpose in your life. That is why, after all the struggles, he has given you the opportunity. And we stand here before this crowd on behalf of our almighty God to lift you up before him, that the wisdom and power comes from him. We pray that, Lord, may you endow your servant with your wisdom. Lord, we pray that may you give him the courage and boldness to declare that which is truth, that which is right, for the development and growth of Plato. Heavenly Father, we pray that you give your servant large heart to take all the ethnic groups on the plateau, all the people of plateau, Muslims, Christians, idol worshippers, traditionalists, and all the people. May you give your servant that love that you demonstrated through your son Jesus Christ. We declare today that your servant will find favor in the 
eyes of his superior at the federal level. We pray that, Lord, let your glory fill the state. Let your glory fill the government house. Let your glory fill their homes. We lift the children before you that you will protect them. Heavenly Father, protect them. Where they go, Lord, go with them. Let your light shine in them. As they support their father and mother, let them be the light. And let your word be in them. Heavenly Father, those who surround him, we commit them to you. That they will be a good advisors. That they will say the truth and tell the truth at an appropriate time in a good way. Heavenly Father, bless your children. You have given them this mandate and you will carry them through. That is why our heart is one. We stand here to declare that your peace will envelop your servants. Your light will shine upon them. When he stands up to speak, they will see you in him. That plateau will never be the same again. Whatever weapon fashioned against him, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Any contrary spirit that will lead this state in another way, Lord, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. May you be glorified. May you be blessed. For we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And this technically no. This technically marks the close to the final point of the end of this Thanksgiving service. So it's my pleasure, while His Excellency is still here, to call on the Chairman of the Planning Committee, and that is the Secretary to the Government of Plata State, uh, Architect Jatel, to move the vote of thanks, so that from here, the whole event is concluded. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. People of God, praise the Lord. People of God, praise the Lord. Your Excellency, the structured governor who is ready to restructure Plateau State, Barista Caleb Manasseh Mutfa, permit me to stand on already laid out protocol. Your Excellency, I would also want to say, uh, working with you for the past several months has been a joy because you always make my work so easy. Uh, you will agree with me that already the vote of thanks has been. Uh, Remarks for the vote of thanks has been made by His Excellency, so there's no point repeating myself again. We just want to thank you all for coming out today to thank God for what he has done for us as a people. He has also said today marks the beginning of a new page on the plateau, a page of oneness, a page of togetherness, a page of progress, a page of unity. Let's leave this place as brothers and sisters, and let, let's be our brothers' keepers. I want to thank you all for coming. I wish you journey masses back to your respective destinations, and God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, this technically marks the end of the program. We will take the national anthem, and on behalf of the, the benediction, we'll have the benediction and then the uh, national anthem. I'll invite for the closing benediction or for the benediction the Right Reverend Dr. Juan Zumbes. And because there'll be very little time for anything else after that, on behalf of Reverend Dr. Yunusa Madu Jr. and Reverend Dr. Stephen Dangana, as well as my friend uh, Kenzie Ngupar, um, our brother. Bulus Rogo and all those that we have worked with here. 
we deeply appreciate the opportunity to uh, say goodbye to all of you. And on their behalf, I am Yiljab Abraham signing out and wishing you a safe journey. May we be all be on our feet, please. So we pray together. Dear Lord, our God, you said about times and seasons to remind mankind of your great and marvelous acts. And because you are an unconventional and unpredictable God, and your ways are most times shrouded in mystery, you sometimes pass man through experiences that he cannot understand. Yet for your children, the end is always glorifying to your name. The day of our joy and celebration has come and is far spent. As we suspend this thanksgiving today, Lord, we will never fail to stop thanking you. Because you remain God every day of our lives. The experience of the past few months have been such as you let us pass through the dungeon only to get us to the palace. Through pains, so we arrive our games. Through darkness, so we arrive the light of a new dawn. Through sadness and sorrow, so we can love at last. You pull us out of panic and gave us a picnic our God and our Lord. We want to thank you once again because our night of mourning has birthed the dawn of our dancing. The long stretch of uncertainty has been succeeded by the hour of certainty. The season of threat has been overtaken by the season of great praise. Our winter has been subsumed by a summer of spectacular happenings. As your servant sits on the saddle of, our go of governance to lead and drive development for your people, give him a devoted courage. Furnish him with a Solomonic wisdom. Supply to him grace unusual. Give him the humility and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Therefore, unto God, we commit you. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and be gracious to you. May he give you the heart of integrity and the heart of servanthood. May he give you days that are healthy, minds that are sound. May he give you favor within and without this country. May he give you such a heart that will never be left without an uplifted hand and a heart of integrity throughout the course of your service to these people. Therefore, the blessing of God Almighty, God the Father, God the Son, go with you now and remain with you always. The national anthem, please. All rise for the national anthem. And be still, please. Be still.